never hear me bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. New subscribers, hello, how have you been? Thank you so much for joining this amazing, wonderful family right here on On Trending. And of course, to my returning subscribers, the real OO to the G's. Everybody else on here, Premier Gang Gang, moderators, you who's watching me right now. <laughs> Thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice you do to me on this specific channel. I most definitely don't take you for granted even one bit. Yes, I do take correction as well on the comment section or on your respective YouTube channels. <laughs> if you decide to take me there, no problem. Feel free. Now, my ex-grandson, we are jumping straight into it, went to visit Mura Senso. And you can imagine his title, guys, on the screen as you can see. A day at my brother I am Maru and I was like, yo, it's about time. <laughs> what a what a good day. <laughs> what a wonderful day in Yabohanse. The brothers are coming together again. But I was 50-50 because I was like, oh my god, here we go again with a clickbait. Because of course <laughs> we know that these two people cannot exist or share a space without an awkward moment like we saw the last time. No problem. I click on it because I am curious. I'm like, yo, what really happened? What happened? Did they finally come to sit down and talk? Or was it just another weird situation? Or <laughs> was Mura Senso not in his compound while he was there? Because we know the tendencies, guys. He'll only go there for content, for clickbait, and when Mara is not around. Alas, I saw... Dimwango and Casta, baby Casta. Baby Casta was there with Dimwango. Dimwango had gone to cook for them some Jamaican delicacies. And I was like, yeah, it's going to be a very good sit down for family and friends to sit together in one table and share a meal. And I want to see how the interaction is going to be because we know, guys, when it comes to my ex grandson and the brother, half brother, we know, we know the tingle. So, I waited for Marwa. <laughs> I waited for Marwa to appear. <laughs> 10 minutes, Marwa has not appeared. 15 minutes, Marwa. 19 minutes, 45 seconds, Marwa has not appeared. 27 minutes, Mura Senso has not appeared. 35 minutes, the video is coming to an end. <laughs> I've not seen Mura Senso anywhere. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Look for views. <laughs> it's a month to make money, especially for my ex-grandson with the siblings. One, Dim Wango is back. He's doing two videos per day. I'm like, yo, it's back to back before Dim Wango goes because I told you guys, Dim Wango's name is heavy currently, even huger, bigger than Mura Senso's name on the YouTube space. So why not utilize this moment to make sure you drop even three videos every day? To accumulate, collect all these views, make much money before she decides to go. Dim Wangwa said that she'll be leaving. What is this? Something. Okay. Oh my gosh. I think it's out. Dim Wangwa says she'll be leaving at the end of the month. So Dim Wangwa will have left Mura Senso and Rosio Mam. Hopefully, would have flown out if you guys keep donating so that they can raise airfare and money to sustain them. <laughs> while in Argentina the ball is in your court all right so decide what you want to do so before they fly away why doesn't my ex-grandson all right grab this opportunity chance so that he can get views make money this month because next month we are back to usual maybe even Casta is going back at the end of the month and you know guys my niches my ex-grandson's niche is convert ma Casta and him just taking us around the village, talking to himself in the bushes, in the forest, okay? So if those people are not here, he will not make money. And schools are closed, schools are shut. We are yet to open again in the next two weeks. So Congrats Ma is still in her own house. And we have to be making money out of the situation. If you don't know how YouTube works, now at least you know. <laughs> Utilize the moment when... Ivan was here with the videos and all this expose. You saw how we were running so fast on the street because, yo, if you don't utilize that moment, then you are not going to be using the situation.
to be getting money, especially if you are a reactor on the street. So, the video came to an end. I did see Mura Senso. What my ex grandson decided to do was go around <laughs> Marwa's compound again. <laughs> I was like, yeah. All this while I'm like, where is Marwa? Because the girls are cooking it in the outside kitchen. <laughs> there where they boil the beans and all these sticks. And I was like, where is Marwa? Because Marwa must not be in this compound. Because if he was, it's very rare for the Virginia to be going and be patting, petting Malaika and Rio. Because, I mean... We understand the tingle. I went through his comment section and I'm seeing people saying that, oh, you did well. Shame on the reactors. Now we see blood is thicker than water. Of course, blood is thicker than water. But if Marwa is placed next to Devi, nothing will happen. We'll go back to the statue moments when Dim Wango leaves the village. Debbie Jr. will not voluntarily say I'm going on a random day. <laughs> Let me go hang out with my bro. That is never going to happen. He knows the tingle. Why wouldn't he use this moment to be messing around with your minds so that you probably, if you've not watched him for a while, I mean, even the ones who have, they deny the fact that <laughs> these two people cannot exist in one space. So he went round, did all the rounds. Oh, Gake, come and show me. Or oh, this is Popo. Or oh, these are the horses. This is where they sleep. Or oh, this is the Skuma Wiki in the kitchen garden. Oh, this is, oh, can I touch Rio? Oh, take a video. Take an Instagram picture. I'm like, this is the only time you're going to take Instagram pictures unless he comes back when Mura Senso has left <laughs> and gone to Argentina with Rocio Mam waiting for the newborn. Where was Marwa all this time? This is what I want to show you. We start with the receipts and then we come back. Go to Dim Wango, <laughs> who sat down on a live and I was like, hey, I just watched the live today. I was just skipping because I was like, I know she's going to be talking about reactors, haters at some point. And voila, I found the section where she always comes for reactors. Oh, they sit on their chairs. Oh, it's hard to create content, but we'll get to her. Let us play my ex grandson's receipts where Mura Senso was while he was busy doing a tour quickly quickly before he came back and then of course we come back and proceed so the river is here the river will go with two motorbikes okay. you'll take your motorbike and this uh, uh. Right. That's a man. guys we brought our nieces here and cousins to choose a bag what they want <laughs> Uh, what are your bag you want to attack? Yeah. Yeah. All right, and use the source of firewood fire, yeah. as a source of fuel here. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. And also the other place right yeah, here. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah this house. <laughs> this, and uh, this is the house for the pigeons. Yes. Right? And yeah. also, at times, it acts as a store. As a, as a store. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe you can just come and check. All right, what's going on here at this other side? That other side, people are just having lunch. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. mm -hmm. so these are workers here, they're having food. Yeah, I just forgot your name. This one, you already know him, yeah. who he is. Huh? Yeah. I'm just here, guys. Mm -hmm. My name is Alobo mm -hmm. Fisher. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just at the Villa Mendeli. Mm -hmm. Lunch dinner. What happened to your hair? Hmm? What really <laughs> happened to your hair? <laughs> Man. Uh -huh. All right. So, take me the other side now. Uh -huh. All right. Those are small. Hey, yeah. this one is so big. Wow, this one is so big. And for the guinea fowls, I would love to see how they look like. All the kills. Yeah. Uh huh. All the green collards. Yeah, wow. And I can see there is a other ones inside yeah, there. Other ones over there. They have just feed and feed and feed it. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are good work actually. Eh, for me, I'm always afraid. Maybe you can take me a picture. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, all right, guys. Let let Gake take me a good yeah. foot. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, for you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
for Instagram as okay. well. Okay. Mm -hmm. What a video actually. A video. A video? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> wow. That is it. Huh? <laughs> Alright, thank you. Okay. Alright. Mm-hmm. This one looks good. I mean, so, the trees have really grown up. So from the other side, mm -hmm. we have the one thing here in the village. You see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What the else should I learn? Mm -hmm. So guys, this is the popular fish pond. Huh? Do you have fish inside? No, for now these mm -hmm. two are just on the, under construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we, 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 uh, we, we were planted also. another the, the we planted these two yeah. three yeah. another yamu too. Yeah. Yes. And the one more remaining like the, the one. Okay, 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 okay. Come. Yeah, get to As we are going in. Look at the fake rasta. <laughs> this one in the whole village. They are saying I'm the tourist guy. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> so Marwa. Rocio mom, Ian, and a couple of other boys, village boys, of course, people who work around Marwa, had gone to look for flowers or plants to pot. <laughs> you know, they call everything flowers. And during this time is when now David Junior was like, hey, it's the moment for me to be going around and pretending that things are okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, the sister and the baby caster are preparing something for them to share so they went round and they came back and of course you can see from the videos when they come back he's still not you know he's not in a chatty 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 moment like the way caster is free with everybody on there so you'll be forced to believe that things are fine <laughs> blood is thicker than water yes <laughs> but what are you showing us david jr has tried because of course he can't remain home and the girls are down at villa medellin he needs to follow them so that he can create content as well that is how the team goes right here on these streets when you think that oh these two people are fighting you use that moment <laughs> to collect money because people want to see what the tingo is and what a coincidence on the title he says a day with my brother i am mara so when the girls were done cooking they shared a meal all right and i was waiting to hear a conversation but he was on there smiling on the table because they were all sat at the table it looks like they enjoyed the jamaican food because yo i saw rosio mom going in and i was like hey rosio mom this one comes once in a while you will never eat something like this again <laughs> From this, you go back to your beans and rice and all these chicken nuggets coated with ugali flour. So please use the situation, the moment, when the time is ripe, guys. Use that time ASAP. So I want us to play some receipts because, yo, after everything was done, Mara just turns and says, Oh, thank you to my sister Dim Wango. The rest of you go sort yourself, all right? And I was like, hey, I thought you brothers... <laughs> I thought you brothers are back together so that you can shock the world and shame the haters that yo, we are back as one and we are brothers and blood is indeed thicker than water. Receipts, we go to, of course, Dim Wango. Who else? She said when she's in the village, they'll sit down and say, oh, Dim Wango is in the village. Yes, Dim Wango is in the village. But what are the Kenyan influencers doing as she is sat in the village? Why are you not? At this event where all the KE K 
Kenya influencers are <laughs> receipts first on that table with the Jamaican food and then we come straight on for Dim Wango because she came straight on for haters and reactors as always guys I mean you know the vibe when she sits down and she's got nothing to talk about receipts we come back <laughs> Yeah. Do you remember I said it today is today? Do you remember yeah? <laughs> Even I didn't know even he was coming. I thought today, this day today is coming. It will be a shiny one. <laughs> if you love lemon, like me, it's really nice on fish. I like lemon a lot. All the time. <laughs> Good evening, guys. The entire oh, YouTube crew is here. Yes, we are here. Yeah. Uh, go, go ahead, go ahead. I'll, All right. I'll capture at least to get something. The entire crew is here, YouTube crew. Yes, guys. We have Dimwango right here. You can yeah. say Jambo Jambo. Greetings, guys. Yes, we are yeah. on the table. We have Ayamara <laughs> here. I'm smiling with dumpling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Rocio is here. Rocio is here. Devi, right there. Yes. And Casta. We are having oh, oh, Uncle Mo is here. He's joining us shortly. Yeah. I've never had this thing my entire life. I had it's called dumpling, so I want to test, guys, and I tell you how it feels. Okay. Yes. Feeling inspired with the food. <laughs> it's not like that, but remember working out. <laughs> Going to the zoo. All right. Actually, even at the immigration, they don't ask you questions. Like, I don't know what, what, what. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in the food, we got some Jamaican dumpling. <laughs> Jamaican dumpling. In a Ugali, a Ugali. Actually, what is it cooked cooked by? The uh, wheat flour. Okay. 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 You know, this is like a movie. I used to watch your videos. Mm -hmm. okay. But the time is 6 by 7.30. Okay, thank you so much. I'm done. Thank I you, D. You're welcome. Yes, I thank you everybody. Your efforts, <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Guys, let's go. Asante San. Uh, I don't know if you want to carry this for dad or someone. I'll Other cook for them. Okay, otherwise, you call the ladies, okay. the girls who work. Give them so they can have a test. And also, Gake, so and they can. Steve. Steve. They can yeah, let them have test. a bit of, you know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'll do some for them. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay. Somebody can take this, even the small child, just to know yes. how it is. Aunt! Yes! Mm. Oh, 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 this is fine, I'm leaving. Yeah. Sister, thank you. You're welcome. Costa, Devi, Lee. Asante, Sam. Guys. It is what it is. It is what it is. Now let us go to Dimwango who sat down to do a live. You know when you see Dimwango sitting down for a live, there's nothing happening or her video is taking too long to edit. Now she came out here saying that, oh, I know you people want me to show you around Africa, around my country, Kenya, but you, you need to know this. And I was like, what do we need to know? When I'm back home, it's not easy to create content. It's easier for me in Jamaica. Oh, in Jamaica I can do anything and everything. And at the chat section, I'm already seeing people say it's also not easy in America for Americans. It's also not easy in Jamaica for Jamaicans. So why would it be easy in Kenya for a Kenyan like Dim Wango? Honestly, Dim Wango has said a million times that she comes to the country to do what? Guys, to relax before she embarks on her travels. And that is why she's well known, especially from her a uh, majority you know of her subscribers who come from jamaica why wouldn't they love her in jamaica doing jamaican content good question she went to new york <laughs> capital city of america i didn't see anything from there all right and i think dim wango has lost her plot because she was a travel vlogger now she's a reactor <laughs> she can't even sit down and tell you oh this is how it was in monaco this is how it was in brazil mexico or new york or jamaica anyways it is the tingle so she came to say it's hard for her to create to create content from her own country because of all these regulations or oh, don't film here or oh, don't do this but yes since we had a couple of Al Shabaab attacks back some years ago, it was hard for anybody 
even <laughs> to just start and be taking photos people want to know where are you taking these photos to who are you what are your intentions because now people and security was a major deal right here in this country the malls all the malls almost all of them restrictions do not film do not take photos do not do this even of course in government offices you will be arrested just like what was that guy's name where did he go to what's that guy's name maja like maja maja came here made a mistake so i just shooting buildings you know shooting here we say shooting is filming started filming videos and you know he was told yo <laughs> who are you and why are you taking all this footage to chop chop inside so that you learn so of course there have been restrictions since but that doesn't mean that you cannot vlog you can vlog <clears throat> Dim Wango knows that, but Dim Wango is not free in her own country because I mean, why? The same thing to someone like Mura Senso. Have you ever seen Mura Senso take you? If it was not for Jamaican uncle, so that he takes us to Masai Mara <laughs> game reserve, <laughs> that is the most <laughs> that you probably could see from Kenya. Meanwhile, it's just home and the river and the horses and the skuma wiki and the beans and the rats there are rats in the villa <laughs> there are rats in the villa and what else oh this is my rooftop we are demolishing again the fan i put music oh rosio mommy looks so tired this is our cat kenya and we call her ratakil oh god matata this and that and this nothing much from kenya so you'd think that oh there's nothing good from Kenya. If you want to watch something from Kenya and get amused with what Kenya has got to give you, go to a couple called Dave Money. They're already back in they're already back in Canada, I think, yeah. They've been here for a while and they've brought you all this beautiful content from Kenya. If you want to know, if you want to see, if you're curious, you want to know what more can Kenya give apart from Nyabohansi. Meanwhile, <laughs> you will not get anything from Nyabohansi. So just know that. Now, security concerns. Number one, Al-Shabaab and all these put restrictions on filming in this country. Licensing requirements. You need to be licensed because, I mean, it's hard. Even for me, there's a time I went on top of uh kicc <laughs> and i could not film there because people want to know why you're having a camera but you can go film with your phone all right so you can do filming with your phone if you come out with something like a camera and uh what is it called like all these gopros people want to see licensing what's your license are you licensed because they're like yo what are you coming to do here who are you to start or begin with people also don't know dim wango she's not well known in this country also the brothers other content creators film freely but again we've got restrictions public privacy Filming people in public without their consent <laughs> can be seen as an invasion of privacy right here in this country. Monetized content for vloggers who monetize their content. There may be a higher scrutiny due to commercial nature of the activity. Absolutely. Unauthorized media activities. The government has strict laws to regulate media content. Filming or broadcasting without proper authorization can lead to accusations of unauthorized media activities, especially in politically sensitive areas or situation. Period. If a vlogger, <laughs> this is just for Dimwango, if a vlogger wants to film in public in Nairobi or other parts of Kenya, it's essential to get the right permits from the relevant authorities such as KFCB or local municipal offices to avoid legal issues, period. But basically, mostly, it's all about security since the Ashabab attacks right here in this country a few years ago. Let us start with her receipts from yesterday's and then we come back and close with what her peers what influencers from kenya are doing currently while she's stuck in the village complaining <laughs> and talking about reactors yeah a lot of security and all that i'm recording myself i'm not taking pictures or anything yeah it's on me can you see me on the face 
but you are not allowed to take any videos <laughs> yeah but i'm not taking anybody i'm talking to myself as you can see nilikuwa hivi ndo wale wa jamaa kare waka publish hapa hiyo so um now we headed to uh kamukunzi yes. guys this is this are some of the things that i hate about <laughs> africa like i hate about I, my country I for that. like you know what i mean like i'm just trying to show the beautiful nairobi because when people come here they just show the slums and the dirty places yeah. but when i'm back home i'm like i want to show you guys the beautiful part of nairobi but all of a sudden somebody will be like why are why you are you, you know what i mean like it's so it's so crazy like these are some of those things that make me just hate it you know what i mean and when i'm out there most of people from africa will be like most of from my country oh when you're home you don't show this you don't show that you don't sleep in luxury hotels and all that <laughs> but the reality <laughs> i started traveling in africa first of all then when i got the chance to be out there i was like father god thank you so 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 much because the challenges you face traveling in your own country they're even so much than what you face out there honestly and i think it's so evident when i'm out there i'm celebrated i'm welcomed people are always good good energy i don't know maybe i i don't know but being in your own home i mean in your own country things are a little bit tricky situation even there's some restaurants you'll go and they'll be like oh you, you're not allowed to take pictures here then you're like what you know like i feel like still in africa people don't understand the power of social media of showcasing their countries to the world because there's so many good things and in my country it's so funny in that if you want to show the slums and all those other areas it's easy rather than showing the the beautiful parts they'll be like oh don't record here don't do this don't do that and they're like yo sometimes even people sometimes get arrested for that you know what i mean like it can be that crazy so i'm sorry but i'm just i'm just telling you guys what it is i mean like the facts you know like what it is but but that doesn't mean i won't still keep going because still not everywhere and not everybody is like what i just said oh you are this you're this and that and they forget about themselves you know what i mean but ah, god god is just an awesome god god is just an awesome god you know like personally some people who talk about me from their from one specific corner they've never left that specific corner and i'm always out there traveling doing this but they're just always ready to look for something to talk about but i'm like look when when last did you even book a plane ticket when last <laughs> where have you been to this entire year just that's corner talking about me every day talking about me when i'm in new york city talking about me when i'm in Jamaica. i just look and i'm like god thank you so much because you made these people to be where they are and talk about me while i'm living the life that i was designed to live so no matter what keep going keep keep keep, keep going you know we're all human beings at the end of the day do what truly makes you happy ask yourself if i'm no longer today am i going to regret just ask yourself that always live a life of no regret if i'm no longer alive today you know, like all this world, I lived my life, I traveled the world, I met friends, I enjoyed foods from different countries, I met people, I experienced this and this, I helped people, I was a good, you know, like a life with no regrets. But if you live a life to please people, I mean, you'll always live a life of misery. It's like you're in a prison, you know, so always live that one life, okay, and always be you. And that's one thing I love about myself. And I think Tim D know me. You know what I mean? When I'm at home, I'm at home. When I'm in the countryside, I'm, at, I'm in the countryside. You know, I can dress what I want, you know, and all that. When I'm out there, like, live life the way you want. Don't try to please people. <laughs> Don't try to please people. Don't. 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 Don't you please God alone. Human beings just need them. Just, just do your part. Good people will always see the good energy and the good vibes, you know? And those other bad mind people will always hate from their corners. They've never been nowhere. Like, they were meant to be like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes they just love. You know, but God is an awesome God. Because I'm like, no matter what. she wearing this you know victoria secret pajama she should be wearing sometimes it's crazy look at them and you're like what are you saying like it's crazy somebody concerned about what i'm dressing like i'm like <laughs> sometimes it's 
crazy, but sometimes the life we live is crazy. Like people get too much concern, even with an outfit that I wear. But that means like I'm really high profile because if concern about my dressing today, then that's really something to give you headache, you know? <laughs> but what makes me happy is from that specific con every day. It's talk about when I'm in New York City, when I'm in Cayman. You have never gone anywhere. Oh my God, thank you. Like honestly, the world is exactly supposed to be, you know? So in life, always be positive. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, she wants to shop in her closet. She can't even like get the prize, honestly. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like it, it takes a flight ticket to go to Mexico to shop an outfit there. So the flight ticket... Even in the Turkana and the Samburu that she wants to go to, she needs permission because guys will want to know where are you taking this footage to. It's simple, guys. I mean, I think it's 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 common <laughs> across the world because I wouldn't just come in and I'm just filming you. The moment you pull out your camera to be recording, of course, myself included, I'd love to know where you're taking the footage to. So it's easier for you to be in a confined space, all right? In a place where you're by yourself. You're not disturbing anybody in the streets of Nairobi with your camera just flashed and just taking videos, filming everything. I'd also ask you why are you taking my content too. So if you're ready to answer that and show that yo, I'm licensed and I'm here to do this for A, B, C, D, then you can go ahead. But meanwhile, of course, the regulations have to be followed. Dim Wango sat down to be addressing haters and hey, is it reactors? <laughs> because Dim Wango has got no content whatsoever. But I was happy because her audience yesterday was not the audience audience that always comes in for all oh, haters, blah, 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 blah. Most people I saw told her, please move on. Do you have trust issues? Because she's talking about I don't trust people and all these usual things that she talks about i mean i was like what's new <laughs> what's new from nyabohansi what is bosiaboka saying and i was so much pissed because i didn't even watch i was just skipping ta, ta, 10 minutes 15 minutes i speak i skipped 20 minutes 35 40 and i'm like yo whatever i was looking for in this live <laughs> is already here because you know she'll come out very very vocal talking about they've never traveled to go anywhere oh they're always in the same same room you do your tingle madam here we do reaction here we will react on you especially you as my niche not main men because my main is mura senso you as a niche because you're back in the village and you because you'll call me as a reactor every time oh they do this oh they have never traveled oh i even wonder if they want to travel if they go and they say that they do reaction who told you <laughs> that people only do reaction <laughs> And what is so wrong anyways if you say you do reaction and you're a youtuber and they check it's reaction it's only from your bohanse that people think that reaction is hate no it's not hate <laughs> it's not hate it's not jealous i don't want anything that dim wango has it's because they're full of drama and primitive <laughs> that is why it's important and juicier to talk about them period that's the only reason we react because i mean and i've got my own audience right here <laughs> who are here to watch every single day why wouldn't i do that every single day because they do videos every single day team wango relax keep calm you do your travels if you want to do your travels take people around kenya if you want to take people around kenya if you don't want to leave them in Jamaica, they are going to let you film because you're also not in the city filming people. Do you understand the tingle? You're not. In the market, you can pull out your camera and be recording. Few people will ask you what you're doing. But because they know you, Dim Wango, because your audience is from Jamaica, they're not going to do anything about you. In Kenya, people will be like, who is this one? She is on here insulting Kenyans every single day. Oh, I said I spent about 200 or is it how much? It's around 20,000 Kenya shillings to braid my hair in New York. And Kenyans who have never traveled. I was like, madam, <laughs> it's irrelevant. <laughs> Why are you like this? Oh, people who've just been sitting in Kenya, they don't even have a passport, even a visa. They are getting shocked that I spent all this money in New York. Relax relax meanwhile as she's ranting all these things what are kenyan influencers including sean arua <laughs> doing in the capital city of nairobi let's check out and then we close
my nails were bad how do you even scam a beautiful lady like me yani i was scammed in nairobi in broad daylight anyway we're gonna get back to that my nails were bad i had an event in an hour so fix it makeup araka araka my hair also done Damn, this is what happened i took a picky picky from bazaar just to hilton i asked this guy how much this guy told me 350 i said sour my god tell me why it only took around two minutes and we got to hilton and i'm like bro anyway we got to the amazing samsung grand opening and guys it was a beautiful event i had so much fun i met new people we danced we cut the cake we ate i was socializing and the most important thing is guys i left this place telling myself i want this phone that flips i want it i almost thought it was mine i was trying to put it in my bag and i'm like oh no 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 sorry it was so, my bad my bad my bad my bad my bad it's not a mine but guys this phone is amazing it has amazing features you can put it in your bag and of course you know i'm not so good at dancing at did that stop me no the mc himself offered to teach me some few moves here and there and i was killing it then i interacted with more people which was so amazing then later on they were kind enough to give us hampers bye bye how kenyan influencers were at a samsung event Bimwango, you have a samsung right <laughs> are you not known in your country why are you not in these places where all the kenyan influencers are <laughs> the same thing they are on there enjoying and meeting people making their name meeting brands working for brands you know meeting the bosses and who is who in the industry you are in the village talking about reactors talking about haters talking about africans on africans talking this and that while people are making money and getting free goodies and getting recognized as brands and brand influencers in this country. Here is the team. <laughs> yeah, we can keep talking here the whole day. <laughs> but anyways, we have to bring it to an end at a specific point, which is absolutely now. If you watched until now, please, thank you so much for being here. Like the video as you exit if you're not subscribed and would love to subscribe always know that you're free to do so and i on trending will most definitely catch you on my next video don't forget to turn on the post notification so that you don't miss out when i upload the next one bye bye Go.